One such man, one who had lost all, over and over, and to this, he had lost his sanity. His was a never-ending journey away from the phantoms of his past. He believed he could silence the cacophony in his mind and find peace beyond a place he called the Plains of Silence. He now had the vehicle, the weapons, the provisions and the fortitude. He only needed the fuel. And here, there was but one place to go for fuel. Gas tank. Somebody tell me an answer if you can. I want someone to tell me what is the soul of a man. <laughs> Gently. What? Thanks for eating. It's you. Alvin was alive inside the air to give us birth. So the blaze by godly plug ignite. Revolution about revolution rejoice! Please, don't kill Chum Rocket! Please! Hey! <laughs> Why shouldn't I? Because I know you. 
Yeah, I spied you in the long lookers. They left you for the blowflies, and they snatched your ride. And now you'll be looking to snatch it back. That's what the prophecy says. You're the driver. That's right. Then some bucket is your man. Yeah, I'm your man. Yeah, yes, I am. Do you have a vehicle that can take you to your car? I do say. That's right. She's not running now. Sorry for that. I came here for the part. You see, I'm a black finger. I can make it work again. And I, I think you do too. It's gonna need an overhaul. Don't go straight. No, I won't. I know you'll find me and dismantle me. I know. Chum bucket's not stupid. Dog's bleeding out. Oh, I can fix it, but I do my best work in my sanctum. Push the car. I need wire to fix my buggy. And then I can show you where they took the black on black. Where do I find wire? Up that path. Uh, but before you go, grab some grit, Saint. You must be running on fumes. Oh. Here I heard the bloody sounds of a smackdown. You're not leaking, are you? Tell me you're not. Huh? Praise me! Praise me! <laughs> yeah, see, this is where the thick brow squat cut. Butchers. In for the nose. Oh, oh, yeah, look. There. Scabra Scrotus is their king. Yeah, he's a big boss man from the gas town, you see. Scrotus always keeps the best parts for himself, you see. Yeah, but he's not here now, you see. I, I don't see the land move I'm getting my car back. Please, 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 please. An idea. It's better for you, and it's better for me. Just listen. Look, here, here, black on black is toast. It's scrap. It's gone. She'll never be whole again. Huh? Now I, I can build you a car, bring into creation one that's faster and tougher than the black on black ever was. Yeah. How tough, how fast? Oh, very. Faster than fear, tougher than an iguana's gonads. Mm. Come, come, come with me. We mustn't be seen. Huh? I'll take you to the tabernacle, and when you see what I'm gonna show you, oh, you'll be shouting holy all day long. Steel, say, huh? The dream, the hallucination become truth. The angel made steel <laughs> by the fire that moves the piston, by the tranny on all high, by the cam and the U joint, blessed be. Huh? There she lies, the magnum opus. There she is. <laughs> this ain't no car, it's just a mess of parts. No, no, no. She's knowledge from the numinous, divinely inspired. She wills herself upon this world. Look! See, here, divine meets dry shaft and a symbiosis of faith. Modded and made to measure. You want some of that old time religion, huh? We got a classic whammy turbo high dog. Huh? Hell yeah! Bulletproof and torture tested. Statically upgraded with chum bucket overdrive. Coils, springs, shocks, and links too. It's gonna be eight soon. There's nothing less. Yeah. We will get there. Yes. First, we have to get her beautiful body. Show me where it is. Yes. Come. No time like the present. Come on, Saint. We must go. Just a body and some wolves. Hey, man! 
<laughs> we need parts, scarce as they are. Help me gather all this scrap. Huh? I'll fashion a harpoon. To stand a chance, she'll need nitrous. I know how, but we we'll need the parts. We just get them. It'll be easy with the hub. Yes, but first, Scrotus war boys are out there. And if we don't weaken their numbers, why, it'll mean the end of you, me, and the magnum opus. All right, let's do it. There's something needs doing before we turn back. But, but we've got all we need. Why stall our work on the magnum opus? It's not for you to understand. I see. You have your secret reasons. <laughs> uh, I'll follow you, because I think fate favors, old chum. Say, oh, Saint, come and see. Come and see, oh, Saint. Uh, yes, she's with these hands and the blessings of the sacred Silenoi. She's come to life. My sweet angel, come bust you. What did I tell you? V8, not V6. You're exactly. Eight is the magic number. You and me, we're gonna land a big chief, a bona fide bad boy. Huh? 429 cubic inches, 460 horses, holy rolling, nobody could touch you on the blacktop day or night, right? You'd be evergreen, eternal, road tripping with the gods! Hey, hey. Where is it? Gas town. Well, let's go there. No, wait, wait, wait. You can't just go to gas town. No, we need armor on my angel for that one. Yeah, it's gonna take a long time, too. I probably need to get a couple of... Kevin! Get in the car! Wait! Wait! This is my tabernacle! Jockey and skilled black finger who's an acolyte to the angel combustion who beseeches you. <coughs> who's your driver? Does he have any knowledge of medicine? Uh, I fear not. Your pain must linger. Uh, I'm sorry, but he is a driver of otherworldly skills. Yes, you see. Why would I need a driver of otherworldly skills? Scrap my gate. Please. Please, we aim to enter the dead barons, and all my gear, it was destroyed by infidel scavengers, and we need to heal this machine. If you let us work here, why, why, with his saintly wheel hands and my black fingers, we will deliver to you a bona fide grease pit. Ah, praise be the prophet. Let him inside. Not much of a car. You trust that little scrap monkey? For now. Not much of a stronghold. Careful now. Don't want to insult a man in his own home. <laughs> Listen, we used to rule this stretch, and now the warlord controls all and brings only death. Warlord. Scrotus. Scabrous. Killed, I hear. Sawed him up in the head. <laughs> but his terror outlives him. A proposition, then. I'll weaken their grip on these lands. You give us the use of your garage and tools. Boom! If I thought you could, you'd have a deal. And then what? Gas town. <laughs> oh, 
one peep at the jaw will change your mind. What's the jewel? The gate you gotta pass to reach Gas Town. Look for it yourself. It's in Dead Baron's Pass. Right before I do, do we have a deal? Yeah. You weaken the influence of that dead warlord. And we'll have a deal. You should get your little black finger working on your car. Needs to be beefed up if you're gonna make good on our deal. I have a deal with Jay. You build me that sniper rifle, then we head out. We have work to do. Praise me! <laughs> well, just you find me the parts, and I'll get cracking. Your plans for this car, building it up. You gotta do it before we can get past the jewel. These black fingers are ready to dance, Saint. Oh, yeah, and I know just the steps, too. It's called the Jack, a wasteland classic. <laughs> but often our chances of survival grow tenfold. Then the harpoon? Soon, soon. <laughs> but she needs the basics first, huh? The car's weak. Agreed. Let's return to Jeets first, huh? And I'll show you the plans. Saint, my plans for the Jack. Oh, oh, she'll be perfect. Speed, power, huh? tenacious durability. Take a look, see. Take a look, see. You recall our companion, Saint? Hmm? The Dinky D. Do you think he made it out of the inferno that was once my tabernacle? No. Went to crisp. No food for somebody. No, no. I, I think he made it out. Yeah. Huh? He's got a survival instinct, that little one, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he would have sought shelter inside my old buggy. The buggy and the dog would have their uses. My buggy? Ha <laughs> dude, Hopper. She lives yet? Sturdier than it looks. There you are. Yeah. Good dog. It's out of. Bet you need to keep her filled with a steady diet of primo ammunition, huh? Always need ammo. Keep talking. There's something brewing out there. War boys from Gastown are tightening the new spheres like. I hear the leader Scrotus got his gumball sawed up by some wild dudes. <laughs> this land is about to be scorched by Gastown wrath. Our weapons won't do. I need. Black, deadly, and smoky. And that's where I come in, huh? Now, uh, listen! One of my people was taken by thrall rustlers sometime past. He sprang himself back here, told me a prisoner there knows the recipe for black powder. You go get me this prisoner, alive and talkative, and he tells me the specs for cooking up the powder, and you're set for ammo for life. Lo, here comes a wanderer. I, Crow Dazzle, welcome you to the circle of light. To the circle of the brave, the skilled and the quick. You've come very far, and with a great hunger. But, are you one who seeks to win a name for himself? Or who wishes to bind to the heart of his machine? Or... Are you both? What are you saying? Racing, son, is a many splendid thing. There are some who come to Crow Dazzle for the glory, to beat the baddest the Wasteland can muster, and have their names ring out in fireside tales of bravery for ages to come. Others are on the path of the spirit, they seek the death run to bind their beings to their machines. What's your wish here? Oh, everything a wastelander would hold dear. Plain sight. It's too strange. <laughs> Where to the sacred house of the carbon? 
Now they travel together as one. Oh, Lester, Lester. Only a time to kill them. It is. It's the little count of the carburetor. Oh, who could forget that whimpering? And the devious suckling face. Oh, dead a dozen times if you do, boy. We've come to deal. Uh, nothing else. I got gas. So pitch me, little man. Before I'll make a blood sport of your driver here. Oh, he's no ordinary driver. This one oh, you sent to me by the angel combustion himself. We parlay with the water gods here. We desire to, to make way to the dead baron. My sanctum. My sanctum is, is destroyed. It's burned. Everything I have is gone. Gone. I have nothing left. Please. This car needs healing. She does. Uh, and strengthening. Yes. Uh, and if if you let us stay here and, and rebuild, then, then I offer to you these. Uh, the hands of a black finger. Yes. You'll have one chance for me. Thanks. Thanks, B. Thanks, B. Keep your hands where I can see them. Keep the deviant Blackfinger leashed. No need any of his perversions on my ship. Please. 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 The child. So, killer, little count carburetor says you need to bust through the jaw. I'm going to Gastel. Sure you are. Now me, I know a lot about Gastown and the jaw. I trade goods in and out of there all the time. You want something? Say it. Ain't no sweet talking to you, is there? All right. I seen that harpoon device of yours. Not bad. He's a little something extra, though. Sort of a final flourish, let's say. And that's where you come in. Uh, the jaw looks imposing, but it's got a weakness. The hinges. And your harpoon could be the key. But not with that weak jag tip. You need a piece tougher. Something called a talent. And you have it. I know who does. A nuisance of a noose man named Dimrim. And Dimrim could use a little lesson in manners. Him and his whole convoy. So I relate Dimrim of this talent. But for. Hey, Dune Drifter. I have something to tell you. Me and my child, on our way to our new master. Our rig was ambushed by Buzz. Oh, that sounds like Guckash, John. But it's possible. With a pinch of black magic. What do you know? Ha! <laughs> oh, you got balls the size of boo jumps. And you've done us some good. Granted. So hear me. You'll need to get your harpoon reinforced to get through that first gate. Easy. But your biggest hurdle are those hinges. That's why it all calls for some black magic. Explosives. The Talon builds you an explosive jag tip. Those hinges right up. Let's do it.
around us, the grounds were covered in wet, salty water full of life. My people believe this water will come back to us on our day of reckoning. Then we must be ready. We must patch our ship together and make her whole once more. You believe that? They need to cling to it. And personally, I see an acute necessity to armor this wreck up. Prepping for the wave of man scum which will soon come crashing down. The war boy army. Wheels, wheels, wheels! Lay down your arms. Let's you and me parley instead. No more sticky tricks, Stanley. Today, we finish it. Call my bluff, wheels! It finishes today. The total eradication of all you or I drain it. Time has come for us to uproot. There's no way we can stand up to Gas Town. I'm sending my young ones away. Across the Great White. Out the unknown. They'll run out of fuel and die. But we're not using fuel. We'll build a dune ship on wheels. With a sail to catch the wind. Why are you telling me this? I think you might help me. For a price. I've found a fitting sail. I know where to get it, but not how. As a reward, treasure from the days of old. Still buried beneath the dunes and ruins. We got all the powder we need. Enough to trade. You really want to put black in the hands of anyone? Anyone who ain't Scrotus. I need you to open a passage into the Dead Barons for me to send caravans over. You get me one of the big fuel trucks out there and we'll pack it with explosives. It should make a big hole in that wall. You'll be able to feed your shooter and the Dead Barons too. Killer, the steel you brought has been very useful. I could sure use your help again. Now, you know my people believe that the big wet shall once again splash these barren shores. I need them to keep believing. In the belief, there's hope. But they need an idol, a 
relic of the water gods. And I think I found it. What is it? An idol of a critter of the ocean. It will give them the hope that they need. And their hope will see us through. You'll find it in the wall north of here. Use your long arms. to gas town. What? I was a black finger here. Yeah, the finest, the most exalted. Oh, I heard it all. The parts, the purpose. I, I worked on the war machines and the assault vehicles. <laughs> and I had a bunk, as much gruel and cheese and grease as I could eat. <laughs> here. In the pitch of night, she whispered to me. The sweet angel combustion, she chose to visit this holy acolyte. Huh? And she gave me the plan. Oh, the sweet angel combustion chose to visit this holy acolyte. Huh? What happened? She told me that I had to begin my toil. Huh? I had the designs inside the pan. See? Just like she laid them down, the angel. And I began liberating parts for her design. And they, they caught me. They wished to turn me off for good, but Scrotus, brother, uh, he wanted to play with me. Uh, and they threw me off the wall in a bundle. But what was the aid of the angel? Huh? I made it out. I didn't die! <laughs> the pots. Hidden, hidden away. Hey, 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 hey! Oh! I think, I think that we can get them for her. Yes, as it was intended by the Simi Shammy. You send the magnum opus and the harpoon. Let's do it. The end times are upon us. I, Deep Fryer, spawn of the great flame, have beheld it. My children, a flock of wildfire, eagerly await their righteous salvation. They expect me to deliver them. I see in you a possible salvation. How so? Gastown is doomed. The dooms outside all run red with blood. Dread Scrotus and his war boys spread their bloody gospel of the blade. But you, your goal is elsewhere. That makes you a valuable ally. Nobody's ally. Many of my flock have come from the path of the blade and on to the flame. You'll be rewarded in buffed up weapons. What do you need? Since Dread Scrotus has recent bug with death by chainsaw to the nugget, the holy machination we call the warm embrace has become non-functional. You mean that big tube mounted outside? It leads into the gas-filled belly of Gastown. Once a sacred moon, it bellows out a pure flame embracing the wildfire standing in its front. Now the flames have stopped. We cannot go into the tunnels, pitch black and full of flammable gas, making our torches impossible to use. Your false light there, that's the way to go. Did you find the rig? I found trouble. The things were there as you said. Why'd you tell me? 
It's just where I'm from, you trust your gut ropes on people. And where is that? I came from the south with the riders. Ended up in Gastown. Became the property of Dr. D when that time came. Then the Wasteland War was upon us. After many battles, Dr. D's hordes were bested. His tribe scattered. Most killed. The leaders all dead. The remains of one of their greatest still lies buried out there. Sorry? Buried with him are all his worldly possessions, including his war machine. I will show you where the tomb lies. Do with us what you will. As I said, I have a feeling about you. A world in the midst of this apocalypse. My most trusted acolyte has deviated. Speak straight. My architect, my greatest follower. He orchestrated for the gas to be turned off to steal the pilot light. Under my nose, he took the sacred artifact. And by the flame, he did forsake the true path and stole away many of my wildfire flock. Zealous. Traitors. Heretics. I need that pilot light back. I will give you whatever I can if you help. Where are they? See, written in our revered script. It calls for all stragglers wishing to save themselves from the damnation of Deep Friar to follow him. Which is where? I see you have a map. I can read these symbols. Let me mark it. <laughs> Fresh meat for the grinder. Straight from the unforgiving waste. I want to join the races. <sighs> you see that slate? You put your mark on it. Then I'll put you in the murder dome. <laughs> you, uh, you worked the blood and gut circuit for a couple of years. Survive it, make champion. Then, maybe, I can start grooming you for a shot in the races. <laughs> no time, Torbone. I need to join the races now. Okay. Maybe we can find a spot for a man of your, uh, temperament. In return, for a favor, a very dangerous, possibly suicidal favor. Eh? You see? You see these? These are lights, but they fade. And when they fade, I fade with them. But a man, a very desperate man, were to fetch me some new ones. Follow me, Wastelander. You want new bulbs. I want new ladies! Yeah! I want a lot of them! I asked them all! The gang... The gangbaggers, the torpedoes, the noosemen, but no one would help me! You know why? Because they don't have the stones for buzzing country. Tell me exactly where they are. Follow this, and you'll get to the underdo. Bon voyage! <laughs> My ladies! still alive and now I'm joining the races looks like you earned it let's 
let's see. Well, that can work. Oh, you'll just have a, a little accident. And presto! A new contestant! <laughs> What's your handle, lady boy? Yeah. One more thing. You need a partner. Someone cleared for fighting at the Gastown races. Well, not too many left to choose from. I'd hurry. <sighs> we are done prepping. My children are ready. The long journey awaits. They won't even make it from Dead Baron's Pass. I would ask you one last favor. The way I see it, only you have the skills and experience to get the truck through the jaw. Once we're safely out, my children will assemble the ship and set sail. What do you say? Not for free. You'll be rewarded. Packed in tight. Good luck, traveler. We all need it. My children will meet and the truck at the edge of the Great White Sea. A wanderer comes. I, Crow Dazzle, bid you welcome to the Circle of Light. To the Circle of... Wait. I see you're not here to race. I can see it in your eyes. I'm looking for a fighter to join the Gastown race. They say you know them all. A shiny crow such as I is easily flattered. I may help you after all. Give me a name. Only but one left. Tenderloin. She used to ramble large. Now she sucks the mask day and night. But Crow thinks a shot at the bigs could make a bad girl right. Where is she? Out back, up in that gas. But tread careful. She still loves her a good murder. I need a fighter. What oh, does my sucker just say to me? You wanna fight me? No, I need a fighter. Someone to partner up for the gas town races. <laughs> oh, races. The taste of blood on your lips. Your own. Someone else's. It don't matter. You're alive while death is all around. Do you wanna join me? Yeah, uh, if you do something for me first, <laughs> square my dad with crow dazzle, and I swear I'll get sober and murder up with you. Mm -hmm. Tenderloin's dead. Ha! That's her deal? A crafty fume head she is. Crow can lift a wing and wipe the slate clean. But my charity ain't free. State your wish. Low down as such. You race for Crow, here, now. You bring the chills, and the spills, and the people drop bills? I let her debt slide. Fine. Not so fast, Buck. You ain't racing that funky junk here. That rubber ain't fit for my finery. Only speed demons on this track. 
You tune that car right, then you race my black top. <sighs> Your debt is paid. <sighs> a man of your word. No, uh, give a girl a moment to clear her head. There have been a few men for days. <laughs> Town races, and then begins the reign of the big. Champion's fortune! And his life can be fleeting! But tonight, there shall be a reckoning! For your benefit and his own, a daring warrior has issued a challenge! Blood! Three. 
You're not gonna die on me, champion. Not yet. You'll get well. And when you do... Yeah, I got another for you. Yes. My child. You will help me get her back. As soon as I get you fixed up. Stand up. Who there? You're too strong to break now. Who oh, it's you? Abdominus, organic mechanic. My champion, he's wounded. We didn't even have left on my doorstep. This one, or you'll end up more of a mess than him. Let's get him to the chair. Huh? Someone you should meet. Who? It's someone from before. <laughs> Didn't mean you, dog eater. There now, dinky dee. Huh? We're all friends here. Huh? Friends of him. <laughs> yes, only he doesn't want to know about it, huh? Too afraid of the ghost. I just don't want any friends. Bit late for that. to cut yourself off just because you lost us. You will do it again, husband. And this time, you'll do it right. Do you, crazy-eyed road warrior, take this wasteland concubine to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Born 
to die in battle. Yeah, but you did it! You failed him! You failed Scrotus! And now your blood nourishes the weak. <laughs> My blood! May it burn through your veins and scorch your soul! Pay us my payment! Huh? Yeah. Go on, get out! Get out now! Where is she? The woman? A concubine. Uh, out there, in the underbelly. You owe her a life! Don't know why she cares for a shit sack like you! Keep walking, Bloodleach! Bloodleach outside! All town saw you fall. And I didn't see me land. Oh. <laughs> I'd, uh, report you to Scrotus itself, but, uh, that'd get my lid lopped, too. <laughs> what do you say you, uh, help me out some more? Not your errand, boy. I'll make it worth your while. So, you know of Crow Death. He runs races like I do. He got a sound system that rivals my own. And I want it for myself. <laughs> now it's mounted on a bona fide race wagon. I just want the loud thing. You keep the car. Scrotus is tearing up the town for you. We gotta get out of here. I won. The prize. Where is it? If you help me. My daughter. You gave me the chance to free her once. She ran, aided uh, by the old man. I never helped you. Don't. I see what's behind the crazy in your eyes. I will help you find what you seek. And then you will bring me my child. The big chief. I need it. Now. Through here. In Stankum's garage. You'll have to drive it out of there. I'll find you after. And you will do right by me. Now go! Excited. We need to get the hell out of here. Oh, yes. Yes. It's Scrotus, the immortal. He runs up to Pueblo. Yeah, but he thinks he's going to dismantle you piece by piece. I wed the big chief to the angel in a ram, and then we'll see. Just like everyone else. A husk, an empty shell. You're nothing! Hey! Where is the child? She'll know this. Tell her to trust you. Tell her mama hope is waiting. Here. 
she'll be here. That's where the old one brought her. This desert dweller with his cloak and his staff. He'll have kept her safe. Tell her. Tell her she is Glory. Her name is Glory. Hope and Glory. Cute. <laughs> I never asked you your name. Max. My name is Max. Uh, your deeds here have prepared us for what's ahead. And in the nick of time, war boys have been sighted, prepping most likely for an assault on our beloved ship. The standoff is upon us! You help. We might stay in a fighting chance. There is more for you out there. I saw it when running with my child. A hatch in the ground, leading down to wealth. Perhaps something which will help you. Something which will help you find her. Saint! Uh, not a good place. The old man. As she said, the child's keeper. Was its keeper. Huh? This is honorable work. Yes, but to do good, it's best to be alive. No, every second here, we risk everything. We're close to the underdune. She's down there. That's what I'm saying. This is buzzard land. Finally, you see, we gotta burn. Light it up. His name is Hope. She's got red hair. She calls you Glory. Mom alive? She is. She's waiting for you. the car. I don't know. I heard he said he was taken to where it was born. He said he cared about it. He raged about that wagon like it was raging about some fine dame. The ship. You let him go. No. You let this happen. That's no affair of mine. It is now. I need your fastest machine. It's yours. Take what you need. Your machine is gone. You were betrayed. So what? Stay with us. Make a life. When are you going to have another chance? Our contract is done. Hey. For you. Together we can build more than a life raft. <laughs> Shit. Shit. 
You came for me. You came for me. I should kill you for this. Uh -huh. Hail the champ! The ruination of Stankum, they said. The one who thieved my big block and my concubine. Not to mention the one who ran a saw blade into Lord Scabrus Scrotus's very brain bag. As if cutting dead stump. Saw your ride. Followed it here. We all followed it here. Found your monkey. And that monkey was made to sing! <laughs> About you, a woman, a child, a whole little family. You must be the daddy. Well, now, daddy's gonna die! What did he tell you? <laughs> Lord Scrotus was here! <laughs> he heard that monkey song and he dug it about a little family! A woman, a child, a dog. Lord Scrotus is gonna hurt you more than you could ever hurt me. He's there right now, killing him slow! <laughs> In all sorts of tasty ways! I catch the show! Lord Scrotus likes to die! Oh no, 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 no! Scrotus was here. You okay, baby? Come here. Come on. Come on. Okay. Nobody will remember my name. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. I'll remember. I promise you. Own. And your shadow has grown. And my blood has fueled legend. Scrotus is settled on roadslide of the Purgaty Flatlands. <laughs> Two weeks, he said. A special! Bring his corpus credit! To the organic mechanic! And let the blood serve! Now my blood returns for you, Scrotus! Now my blood returns!
life back into her lungs still. Black fingers will heal her, say. Come on! What do you want? Time has built to this, Wanderer. Your path, however crooked, has led you straight to here. Our work, yours and mine, must soon commence. Come find me 
when your spirit is ready. Shifter of sands, letter of blood, remnants of a ruined past. You say you seek the plains of silence, but do you not wander them right now? The remains of your life, a perpetual flight, an escape from all that is human, until one day, the plains of silence end and you begin. You're the purpose in this life, my friend, although you fear to dream it. But pain will come, much more pain, before this purpose to you is made manifest. You know nothing of me. Look behind you, at June after June of drifting, half-forgotten terrors. You flee them always. These past phantoms and the madness that crawls inside. You've come to Griffith for a reason, deep inside. Twisted around horrors from which you run lies your strength. Griffith can help. Help you venture down to where you damned go yourself. And lay bare your true promise. <sighs> Once you had everything, purpose, love, family and friends, they ripped it all from you. You drifted far from what you were, but you still lie inside, dormant, waiting to rise again. No, this is what I am. Maybe not. Perhaps you fear him you carry inside. That he'll hurt you with his weakness. Enough. Very well. Let's have a peek what you've hidden within. Come out. Why must a vehicle be so important? Allies are a powerful aid. Even a dog can be a lifesaver. You focus your loyalty on a dead thing. I can drive a car. I'll cross the plains of silence in a car. People, get in my way. Do you trust a car? More than any man. We have a long way to walk. Let's look deeper. There you are. Lungs still even, heart still beating. Yet you refuse to live. Perhaps you've forgotten who you are. I know who I am. If you knew, why would you wander like this? I know where I'm going. Tell me again that you're going to the Plains of Silence. That is... That's my destination. I'm gonna cross the Plains of Silence. Tell me about the ones you leave dead by the road. All the lives choked out. Not my choice to kill. You seem to enjoy it. Never. You don't fear killing, because you think you control it. You tell yourself such. Blood is not on your hands, but on theirs. Perhaps it's not the killing you enjoy, but the moments of silence the fighting brings you. You've taken a short rest from your twisted path. 
I'll help you find what you seek. But first, answer me this. What? The other ones that you don't kill. Who are they to you? I use them and they me. If there's no gain, what's the use? What's the use? I'm asking you that. But you have no answer, have you? Yet it's very clear. Whew. I've pondered your mystery. Found a sliver of no one, I think. They trained you to fight and survive. You were their warrior. But you were also human. You had love and hope and future. It was all torn from you. All but your training. No past. Now this is me. It'll always be me. Because your flesh fears to let you think these things. Terrified. The one single ember of good could ignite the mind and consume it. But in some far away corner of yourself. It'll always smolder. You'll never escape it. But let's leave the past for the future. And deal with now.